Welcome back to the 30 day yoga challenge. It's day 12 of the yoga challenge. In our last yoga challenge, day 11, we focused on the cardiovascular benefits of yoga. In this challenge for day 12, we're actually going to continue the cardiovascular focus by looking at how we can improve our breath, breathe better through yoga. So let's begin in a very simple posture, whether you're standing, we can do some mountain pose. So let's have our feet, uh, hips width apart, maybe your toes together, heels splayed out. Or if you wanna go ahead and begin with seated in a chair, that's totally cool. From this meditative posture, let's go ahead and press through the crown of our heads, find some length through the spine. If you're sitting in a chair, I don't want you leaning back. I want you to find some engagement in the abdominals and the spine. And we're going to experiment with our breath here. So whatever posture you find that's comfortable for you, let's go ahead and take a breath in through our nose on purpose. Breathe in. And breathe out through the nose. Notice how that feels in your body. Now, purposefully, I want you to go ahead and allow your jaw to relax. Maybe your teeth come apart, the lips separate. Breathe out through the mouth and breathe in through the mouth. And notice how that feels differently than breathing in and out through the nose. In yoga, we focus on having you not only pay attention to your breath, but you manipulate your breathing. We have you breathe in and out through the nose specifically. So let's go ahead and close our mouths, come back to this comfortable posture, breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose. We've been combining through this yoga challenge, movement with our breath. So wherever you are, whether sitting or standing, breathe in through the nose, lift your arms up just parallel to the floor. Fingers facing forward, palms down. Inhale, rotate through the arms, palms facing up. Exhale, palms facing down. Inhale, palms facing up. Exhale, palms facing down. Inhale to reach your arms up above your head. Exhale, keep your arms there. Inhale to reach up higher through your arms, reach through the tips of your fingers, in through the nose. Exhale, stay here, out through the nose. And notice if you have any impulses to switch your breathing to your mouth. One more time. Inhale, reach a little higher, maybe even reach back a little, in through the nose. Exhale, out through the nose. Inhale. Exhale, lower the arms, out through the nose. Great stuff. Now, you may wish to use a chair, keep it close to you to use for balance, Alternatively, you may wish to use a wall if there's a clear spot in the, in the space that you're practicing in right now. We're going to go ahead and stand up and we're going to be doing a little bit of trikonasana, some side, excuse me, some triangle pose just to begin this practice today. Now, with your right foot out in front of you, you want your toes facing out. And with your left hand, or excuse me, with your left foot, you want your toes um, rather than pointing forward, you want them out at a 90 degree angle. And find a space here that's wide enough of a stance where your legs are open, where they're engaged, but where you're not bending through the knees. If you have to bring a bit of a slight bend to the knees, that's okay, but we don't want a deep bend to find a low seat through the hips. Reaching the arms out, Let's just experiment with breathing right here in the beginnings of our triangle pose, beginnings of trikonasana. And without shifting through the hips, let's just begin as if you're being pulled by your right wrist to just lean right ever so slightly. And if you're noticing that a bend comes into that right knee, let's go ahead and step that right foot out a little wider to widen your stance. This is why I'm not giving you a specific prescription, like your feet from heel to heel ought to be three feet apart. Everybody's body is different. So from here, arms spread nice and wide, 
as if you're being pulled on by your right wrist, just leaning over to the right. Now you may wish to use a chair for balance or use the wall. Whatever you need to do to make this triangle pose work for you, go ahead, do it. Now reaching high through that left arm, let's really start to breathe in purposefully through the nose and feel the ribs expand. Notice the right side body. It's really easy here to collapse through the right side body, so you may need to be careful about the placement of your right hand. Ideally, that right hand comes right down parallel to that right shin, but if you need to wrap your hand around the upper shin using your fingers for some balance, that's okay. Remember, this practice is about you finding your balance and what works for your body today. One more breath in all the way. Let's feel that side body expand as we breathe in. Exhale through the nose. And one more breath in as if we're being drawn in through the left wrist, being lifted up out of this triangle pose. Coming right back to center, lowering the arms. Let's go ahead and turn both of our feet forward. Take a breath on purpose. Feel what it's like to be breathing here today. And if you're a little congested, can that be okay too? With whatever you may be dealing with, maybe a cold or maybe some allergies, maybe you're noticing that you're breathing smoothly and freely and that it's actually quite easy to breathe today. Maybe you're surprised by that. Whatever happens for you, doesn't matter. Let's make it work for this practice. Once more, stepping the feet out. This time we're gonna be focusing on the left side. So the left toes pointed out, pointed forward, and the right toes at a 90 degree angle. Once more, we want the legs spread, not super wide. We wanna be still engaged through the legs, but to the point where you don't want a nice deep low seat through your, uh, through your sit bones and through your hips. We wanna be standing tall and engaged here and maybe even bringing a little bit of a bend into the knees, that's okay. Once more, reaching the arms out, and as if you're being pulled on by the left wrist, being drawn over to the left, bring the right arm over the left knee, coming down parallel to the left shin, into a triangle pose on the left side of our body. Remembering to pay special attention to the left side body, you don't wanna collapse through there, and the right arm comes up, facing towards the ceiling. Reaching through that right arm, keep your body engaged. And if you're noticing that you need to bend deeply through this left knee, let's go ahead and step that left foot out a little bit further. Give yourself some length, some extra room to work with here. And remember, don't be afraid to use a chair or the wall for balance. Taking a breath in through the nose on purpose, breathe all the way in. Feel your rib cage expand. Exhaling through the nose. Notice how that impacts you during this practice, how your body changes and adjusts with your breath. Paying special attention to the placement of that left hand. Are you able to lower yourself down without collapsing through the left side body? Or do you need to lift yourself up out of the posture a little bit more to make sure that you're not collapsing through the left side body? One more breath on purpose. Breathing in to find some length. Breathing out, settling into the posture. And on your last breath in here, as if someone was grabbing you by your right wrist, pulling yourself up out of this posture back into standing, go ahead, turn your feet forward, drop your arms down to the side. Go ahead, take a breath. Facing forward, so let's bring our toes together, heels slightly apart. Let's get into our mountain pose here. And remember, if you need to use a chair for balance as well, that's okay, but standing nice and tall, finding some length through the spine here, allowing your arms to rest at the side of your body, maybe rotating through the arms, allowing the palms to shine out. Inhale, take an extra long breath in through the nose, lengthen through your spine. 
exhale to tuck your chin. And notice if there's any impulse to breathe through your mouth. Really focus on breathing through the nose here today. Wherever you are with your mountain pose, let's go ahead and step the right foot forward, bringing a bend to the knee. Now your left foot back, you can have your toes pointing ever so slightly forward, or if you wish, you may wish to come up on the tips of your toes so that you are uh, um, almost in a, in a high lunge here, really bringing that right knee, bringing a nice deep bend into it. So the right knee is stacked over top of your right ankle. Making sure that your left leg is engaged. Now from here, let's begin just by pointing our arms all the way forward, take a breath in. Really engage through your fingers, really press through the tips of your fingers, maybe spread your fingers a little bit. Almost like you're holding an oversized ball here. And when it's comfortable for you, go ahead and begin to hinge through the hips forward. We're gonna turn our bodies out to the left ever so slightly, bringing the right elbow down onto the right knee. Now, if this works for you, if you're able to still stay engaged through the right side body, you may wish to go a little deeper. If this already isn't working for you, if you're already collapsing through the right side body, go ahead and use your hand over the right knee to prop yourself up. Remember, it's not about getting as deep as possible today in this posture. It's about making this posture work for your body. This practice is about you. If your right elbow is on your right knee and you're able to stay engaged through your right side body, you may wish to lift the left arm up. Here we've got our extended side angle pose, similar to what we were doing with our trikonasana, with our triangle pose, but a little different. And if the right elbow is comfortable on the right knee, you may wish to slide your right hand down your shin, down to your right ankle, getting a little deeper into the posture. That's actually working for me today. I've been suffering with a little bit of low back pain, I think, through having a sedentary lifestyle sitting for most of my day through work. So this is feeling really great. As if someone's pulling you by your left wrist, just reach a little bit higher. Maybe even come even a little lower if this is working for you today. The right hand comes down parallel to the right shin, maybe all the way down to the floor. and playing around with your gaze. Taking a breath in through your nose, maybe lifting the gaze up. Notice how that impacts your balance, how it impacts your breathing. Maybe even experimenting here with breathing out through the nose and lowering the arm down. Maybe breathing in, bringing the arm back up, lifting the gaze up. A more breath in to really lengthen through this posture. Find some strength here, find some stability. Exhale, soften in the posture. One last breath in, as if someone's grabbing you by your left wrist, go ahead and lift yourself up out of the posture. Drop your arms down, shake it off. Let's go ahead and take another mountain pose here for a moment. Feet together, maybe the toes are together, heels splayed out, maybe the feet are hips width apart. Let your arms fall down to the sides of your body. Maybe rotating through the arms so the hands face forward, palms shine out. Take a breath in. Breathing through the nose. And purposefully lengthen your breath. Nice, long, deep breaths in through the nose. Long, smooth breaths out through the nose. There's no prescribed amount of time. Whatever works for your body whatever works for how much load we're putting on your system today. As you know from our previous yoga session, yoga can challenge our hearts, can get our blood moving through our system, but we need breath to power that whole thing. All right, let's once more go ahead and do our side angle pose, but this time we're going to do it on the left side. So we're going to be, if, you, uh, if your space is limited, maybe facing forward, but putting your left foot out forward, 
bending through the left knee. You want to get a nice deep bend so that left knee is stacked over your right ankle. And this time, pay special attention to what you're doing with your right foot. You may wish to bring your right foot back so that it's nice and long and engaged, or you may wish to come up onto the tips of your toes. Inhaling, sweeping the arms forward, looking past the fingers, spreading wide through the fingers, breathe in through the nose, reach through those fingers. Exhale through the nose, drop your shoulders, deepen a little bit into this left knee. Find yourself a little lower into this posture, a little deeper. You may need to bring that right foot back a little bit just to get a slightly wider stance. Remember, it's about what works for your body. Now with our left knee out and bent, we're now going to hinge forward through the hips, left knee over left elbow. So I have my left hand palm facing up. I'm going to go ahead and reach my right arm up. And on an inhale through your nose, you may wish to look up past your fingers. If this is difficult, if this is not accessible to you, you may wish to go ahead and come up a little higher so you're not collapsing through the left side body and use your left hand on the left knee. This side is actually feeling a little tighter for me than the right side. Breathing in through the nose. Find some depth in this posture. If you're already comfortable with your left elbow on your left knee. You may wish to go a little bit deeper, lowering the hand down the shin. Again, using the left side body as your metric. It's like, hmm, is this too deep for me? Am I collapsing through there? We really wanna feel our breath in our body and stay engaged so that we're not collapsing into that left side body. Breathing in through the nose. Reach a little higher with that right hand. Breathing out through the nose, you may wish to just experiment with lowering the right arm down. Maybe the right arm comes behind the body, maybe touching on the left hip, reaching around. Inhale, maybe reach that arm back up, bring your gaze up, look past those right fingers. Breathing in nice and deeply through the nose, and breathing out through the nose. Noticing what the quality of your breath is like in this posture. And almost as if you could reach a little higher through those right fingers, find a little more strength, dig a little deeper, a little more stability in this posture, breathe in through the nose. Exhale, soften a little into the pose. And as if someone on this last inhale was grabbing you by your right wrist, drawing you up out of the posture, come on out. Drop the arms, shake it off. Let's take one last mountain pose here. Feet together, maybe the toes together, heels apart, or feet hips width apart. Go ahead and let your arms relax. Find some length through your spine. Inhale through the nose, all the way. Exhale through the nose, tuck the chin. Maybe shine your palms of your hands forward. Just breathing here for a moment. Sweeping the arms up all the way. Exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Sweeping the arms up all the way, breathing in through the nose. Exhale through the nose, hinge at the hips, fold all the way forward. Go ahead and plant the hands into the shins or on the ground, inhaling, lifting your gaze halfway, getting a nice flat spine if it's accessible to you as you look forward. Exhale, hinge at those hips, fold all the way forward. Let's plant the hands 
down onto your mat or under the ground, spreading through the fingers nice and wide, fingertips facing forward, the same direction as your toes. And now what we're going to do is just step back ever so slightly into our first downward facing dog of the practice. Don't be afraid to be up nice and high, heels up off the ground, up on your tippy toes. Go ahead and bring a deeper bend into the knees. Take care of your back. Maybe toes pointed in, heels splayed out ever so slightly. Rotate through the wrists so that the eyes of the elbows are faced forward. Those creases of our elbows are looking out. Go ahead and wag through the hips a little bit here. Maybe pedal through the heels. Breathe through your nose. From your downward facing dog, Let's go ahead, let's press back all the way into our first child's pose of this practice. So lowering down, bending at the knees, and go ahead, take a nice deep, wide-legged child's pose, knees out nice and wide, so you can rest your torso, your upper body. Reach through your arms, take a breath on purpose. Find some relaxation here. If you wish, draw your arms parallel to the body, breathing through the nose. reaching the hands forward, spreading wide through the fingers, nice and wide to protect the wrists. Let's go ahead and tuck the toes, begin to peel those hips up off the heels, pressing back into a downward facing dog. Bringing some movement into your down dog if need be, or finding some stillness, whatever's working for you today. Remember, the point of the posture isn't to have your feet flat on the ground, it's to have a nice, long spine. You may need to bring a deep bend into the knees, whatever works for your body. Make this practice work for you. All right, here comes our fun transition. Whether you press forward into a plank or drop down onto your knees, however you do it, I want you to find a plank posture that works for you and go ahead, bend at those elbows, dropping the chest down towards the ground and bringing the gaze forward. We're going to transition into our first upward facing dog. So if you're using the knees for your uh, chaturanga, for your, um, your push up here, you're going to have to go ahead and extend the legs out, the palms of the uh, tops of the feet. Go flat onto the mat as you lift your gaze up. If from your upward facing dog, you're laying flat down on the mat, go ahead and engage your hands, spreading through the fingers, pressing back, bending at the knees onto all fours to a nice flat tabletop posture, a neutral spine. With the fingers spread nice and wide, let's begin our cat-cow transitions just through the hips. So remember, turning the pelvis, sit bones face back, lowering through the abdomen, spine lowers. Last, we lift the head, looking forward, breathing in through the nose. Moving with the breath, keeping the head where it is, tilting the pelvis in as you exhale, rolling through the back. Last, the head drops as you exhale all the way. Inhaling all the way, Tilting through the pelvis, sit bones face out, dropping through the spine, last lifting the head as you breathe in. One more, let's breathe out, tilting through the pelvis, arching through the spine, dropping the head all the way down to our cat posture here. Coming back to a neutral, flat spine. Just breathing through your nose, noticing what it's like to be in this posture. Before we end this practice, let's go ahead, come into a seated posture, making the time to transition in any way that works for you, or taking one last relaxation posture. We've done a lot of them through this yoga challenge so far. So if you want to do legs up the wall, or you'd like to do, let's say, a child's pose, anything that works for you, 
go ahead. I'd recommend a supine pose of some sort though, rather than a child's pose, but if you're feeling child's pose today, you do what works for your body today. Before we end this practice, let's just take one last breath on purpose, breathing in through the nose. Feel the breath moving in the body, breathing out through the nose. Just allowing yourself to have the time to show up to your breath. As we end this practice, I would like to extend my thank you to you for taking the time and energy out of your day to sharing this practice with me. Namaste. Don't forget to share this video with your friends or anybody that you think could benefit from having a little introduction to yoga in their lives. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to seeing you for our next day of the yoga challenge.